Let us learn about planes and axes. This is one of the most important topics for us to know to understand the physiological movements of human body. Now what is planes and axes? These are imaginary planes and axes where your physiological movements occur. Now the planes are divided into three. Frontal plane, which divides your body into two halves, that is front half and back half. Sagittal plane, it too divides the body into two halves, but your right half and your left and your left half. Transverse plane, it divides your body into two halves again, but upper half and lower half. Now, these planes are complemented by axis. Your frontal plane is complemented by sagittal axis. Your sagittal plane is complemented by frontal axis and your transverse plane by vertical axis. Now planes, these are imaginary where your physiological movements occur. Now, which movement occurs in which planes and axis? Let us understand that. In frontal plane, as I have already explained you all, it divides your body into front and back half. So if this is your imaginary frontal plane, the movement which occurs in frontal plane is your abductions and adductions. So this is a plane, it is moving this and this. Abductions and adductions, it occurs in your frontal plane in sagittal axis, right? Now, sagittal plane which divides the body into right and left half, the movement which occurs in this plane is flexion and extension. As you can see, if this is the plane, flexion and extension, and the axis which complements this plane is your frontal axis. Next and the last one is your transverse axis which divides the body into upper and lower halves. Now here the movements which occurs are rotations, your lateral rotations and your medial rotations. So this uh, plane is complemented by vertical axis. I hope this was easy to understand a very short topic but very important. Thank you.